we will need to start off this wash and go is Cantu Curling Cream Eco Styler, a spray bottle, a brush, a comb, and a toothbrush for our edges, and a couple of hair ties. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayana, and today's video is going to be my first attempt at a wash and go. It has been forever since I've done a wash and go, so I'm just going to take you guys through my process. So if you guys want to see how I do this wash and go, make sure to keep on watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video and turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays so you don't want to miss a video. Also don't forget to like this video, leave down any video suggestions you may have down below. Follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up with me. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So pretty much what I do to achieve these wash and go curls is I start off by spraying my hair, then I usually will detangle it with a comb and a brush, and then I will put my coconut curling cream in my hair. It is my favorite, I love it, it's by Cantu, and it leaves my hair so moisturized and it just smells so good, it smells so tropical, I love it so, so, so much. So I rake that through my curls, and then after that I will put my Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel, and I will also rake that through my curls and then I will take the curls one by one and I'll like wrap them around my finger to make sure that they're really really defined. And if you don't know what the shingling method is, it's pretty much when you take a section of your hair, you put the products in, and you go piece by piece and individually like wrap your curls around your finger. And it takes such a long time, but honestly the results are worth it and your curls will last forever. And if there are any curls that are really frizzy or not like cooperating or not looking like the rest of your hair, what you can do is you can take a little bit more of your gel and just pass the gel on the curl and just like run it through. And another tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that your roots are laid down with gel. You guys will see me go through this whole video, this entire video. Every time I pull a section, you will see me like touch my roots. And what I'm doing there is I'm putting the Eco Styler on my roots to like make sure that the roots are not puffy because nobody wants curly ends and then puffy roots. Like that is like the absolute worst. <laughs> So make sure that you gel down your roots so at the end, you know, your roots don't look very frizzy or like, you know, we, we just don't want that. So <laughs> make sure that you gel down your roots. All right, so now you guys can see that I skipped a couple of sections and now I'm at the front of my hair and that's pretty much because this process took me forever and that is honestly one of the reasons why I don't do wash and goes very often is because they take so long and I mean, I'm a very patient person, but I don't know, I just, I'm not like crazy for wash and goes, but I thought why not attempt it? It's been like forever, so I'm showing you guys this wash and go routine and I really hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I would definitely say make sure that you have something that can really detangle your hair. You guys see me throughout this video using a hot pink brush and I got this brush from Sally's and you can also try using a Denman brush if you don't know what that is. It's a similar brush to the one I'm using and it pretty much is used to detangle your curls and make sure your hair is smooth and it is honestly so helpful. Definitely do not do a wash and go if you have not detangled your hair. Detangling your hair is so important and it is what causes less breakage. So now we have finished defining our curls and my hair dries pretty quickly. So I only had to dry my hair for a little bit and I sat under this dryer for about 30 minutes. And then after I started to dry my roots with my blow dryer, just real quickly. And now I'm gonna show you guys my favorite part. So now my hair is sectioned and now I'm going to be doing my favorite part which is stretching my hair out because my hair shrunk. So now I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do to get my length back and this is called the tension method. If you don't know what the tension method is, it is pretty much when you get a section of your hair and you blow dry your roots out. 
So you keep the curls at the bottom so you can still have a wash and go type look, but you stretch your roots so you can get your length back and so your hair doesn't look so small and like condensed. So I absolutely love this method. It helps so much. And my hair with wash and goes on the first day is definitely not as big as it is, I guess you could say on day five. On day five, oh my goodness, my hair was huge. So, <laughs> which is honestly what I love. I love big hair. And I definitely don't like when my hair is like small and like condensed and like all the curls are like hanging on to each other. I don't like that look. But if you like that look, definitely stop there and you don't have to do this tension method. But I know a lot of people definitely like bigger hair and bigger hair is what is in style right now. So if you are suffering <laughs> from shrinkage and you want your length back, definitely try out this method. So I pretty much continue this process throughout all of my hair and you can still do this on day two if your hair is still really really small or like condensed but I usually will just do this on the first day just to give me more of like a rounded look. So I will continue doing this until I am happy with my results. can see that I am pretty much done stretching out my hair and I could just leave it like this and not give myself bangs but it kind of depends on how I'm feeling and I felt like having bangs on this day so I am going to take two bobby pins and put it underneath my hair just pull up the front of your hair and place two bobby pins to secure it and now I'm just gonna flip my head over and I'm gonna blow dry to make sure that the roots are really dry because nothing is worse than having wet roots so now I'm just gonna take my pig and because I love big hair, I'm gonna pick out my hair some more until I reach my desired look. All right, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video and turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays so you don't wanna miss a video. Also, don't forget to like this video, leave down any video suggestions you may have down below. Follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up with me. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.